POSIX, an acronym for Portable Operating System Interface, is a family of standards specified by the IEEE for maintaining compatibility between operating systems. POSIX defines the application programming interface, along with command line shells and utility interfaces, for software compatibility with variants of Unix and other operating systems. Name Originally, the name POSIX referred to IEEE STD 1003.1-1988, released in 1988. The family of POSIX standards is formally designated as IEEE 1003 and the international standard name is ISO IEC 9945. The standards emerged from a project that began circa 1985. Richard Stallman suggested the name POSIX to the IEEE instead of former IEEEX. The committee found it more easily pronounceable and memorable, so the committee adopted it. Overview The POSIX specifications for Unix like operating system environments originally consisted of a single document for the core programming interface, but eventually grew to 19 separate documents. 1. The standardized user command line and scripting interface were based on the corn shell. Many user-level programs, services, and utilities including AWK, Echo, ED were also standardized, along with required program-level services including basic I.O. services. POSIX also defines a standard threading library API which is supported by most modern operating systems. Nowadays. Most of POSIX parts are combined into a single standard, IEEE STD 1003.1-2008, also known as POSIX 1-2008. As of 2009, POSIX documentation is divided in two parts, POSIX 1-2008, POSIX base definitions, system interfaces, and commands and utilities, POSIX conformance testing. A test suite for POSIX accompanies the standard, PCTS or the POSIX conformance test suite. The development of the POSIX standard takes place in the Austin Group, a joint working group linking the Open Group and the ISO organization. Versions, parts before 1997, before 1997, POSIX comprised several standards, POSIX-1, POSIX-1. Core Services, Process Creation and Control, Signals, Floating Point Exceptions, Segmentation Slash Memory Violations, Illegal Instructions, Bus Errors, Timers, File and Directory Operations, Pipes, C Library, I.O. Port Interface and Control, Process Triggers. POSIX-1B, POSIX-1B, Real-Time Extensions, Priority Scheduling, Real-Time Signals. Clocks and timers, semaphores, message passing, shared memory, async and sync I.O., memory locking interface. POSIX1C, POSIX1C, threads extensions, thread creation, control, and cleanup, thread scheduling, thread synchronization, signal handling. POSIX2, POSIX2, shell and utilities, command interpreter, utility programs. Versions after 1997, after 1997, the Austin Group developed the POSIX revisions. The specifications are known under the name Single Unix Specification, before they become a POSIX standard when formally approved by the ISO. POSIX 1-2001, POSIX 1-2001 or IEEE STD 1003.1-2001 equates to the single Unix specification version 3, this standard consisted of, the base definitions, issue 6, the system interfaces and headers, issue 6, the commands and utilities, issue 6. POSIX 1-2004, IEEE STD 1003.1-2004 involved a minor update of POSIX 1-2001. It incorporated two technical core agenda. Its contents are available on the web. POSIX 1-2008 As of 2009 POSIX 1-2008 or IEEE STD 1003.1-2008 represents the current version. A free online copy is available.
This standard consists of the base definitions, issue 7, the system interfaces and headers, issue 7, the commands and utilities, issue 7. Controversies 512 vs. 1024 byte blocks. POSIX mandates 512 byte block sizes for the DF and D utilities, reflecting the default size of blocks on disks. When Richard Stallman and the GNU team were implementing POSIX for the GNU operating system, they objected to this on the grounds that most people think in terms of 1024 byte blocks. The environment variable POSIXly correct was introduced to allow the user to force the standards compliant behavior. The variable name POSIX me harder was also discussed. POSIX oriented operating systems, depending upon the degree of compliance with the standards, one can classify operating systems as fully or partly POSIX compatible. Certified products can be found at the IEEE's website. Fully POSIX compliant, some versions of the following operating systems conform to one or more of the various POSIX standards. Mostly POSIX compliant, the following, while not officially certified as POSIX compatible, comply in large part, BOS, FreeBSD, Contiki, Darwin, Illumos, Linux, MINIX, NetBSD, Nucleus RTOS, OpenBSD, Open Solaris, Pike OS RTOS for embedded systems with optional PSE51 and PSE52 partitions. C partition, RTEMS a Euro POSIX API support designed to IEEE STD 1003.13-2003 PSE52, Sanos, SkyOS Syllable Vista, VX Works, POSIX for Windows. Sigwin provides a largely POSIX compliant development and runtime environment for Microsoft Windows. MinGW, formerly a fork of Sigwin, provides a less POSIX compliant development environment and supports compatible C programmed applications via MSVCRT, Microsoft's old Visual C runtime library. Microsoft POSIX subsystem an optional Windows subsystem included in Windows NT based operating systems up to Windows 2000. POSIX 1 as it stood in 1990 revision a Euro no threads, no sockets. Interix, originally open NT by Software Systems, Incorporated, is an upgrade and replacement for Microsoft POSIX subsystem that was purchased by Microsoft in 1999. It was initially marketed as a standalone add on product and then later included it as a component in Windows Services for Unix and finally incorporated it as a component in Windows Server 2003 R2 and later Windows OS releases under the name Subsystem for Unix based applications. Later made deprecated in 2012 and dropped in 2013. It enables full POSIX compliance for certain Microsoft Windows products. UWIN from AT&T Research implements a POSIX layer on top of the Win32 APIs. MKS Toolkit, originally created for MS-DOS, is a software package produced and maintained by MKS Incorporated that provides a Unix-like environment for scripting, connectivity and porting Unix and Linux software to both 32 and 64-bit Microsoft Windows systems. A subset of it was included in the first release of Windows Services for Unix in 1998. POSIX for OS 2, mostly POSIX compliant environments for OS 2, EMX plus GCC a Euro largely POSIX compliant, POSIX for DOS, partially POSIX compliant environments for DOS include, EMX plus GCC a Euro largely POSIX compliant. DJGPP a Euro partially POSIX compliant, drive DOS multitasking call via M386 slash multi, a Threads front-end API extension is available, compliant via compatibility feature, the following are not officially certified as POSIX compatible, but they can form in large part to the standards by implementing POSIX support via some sort of compatibility feature, usually translation libraries, or a layer atop the kernel. Without these features, they are usually non-compliant. Ecosa Euro POSIX is part of standard distribution, 
and used by many applications. External links section below has more information. MorphOS, OpenVMS, OpenVOS is an optional POSIX compliant layer atop the Stratus VOS kernel, Plan 9 from Bell Labs APE, ANSI POSIX environment, Riot, Symbian OS with PIPs, Windows NT kernel when using Microsoft SFU 3.5 or SUA, Windows 2000 server or professional with service pack 3 or later. To be POSIX compliant, one must activate optional features of Windows NT and Windows 2000 server. Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 1 or later, Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista, Windows 7. ZOS, see also, POSIX Signal, POSIX Threads, POSIX Sockets are basically Berkeley Sockets, Tron Project and Common User Access and a Euro Alternative OS Standards to POSIX, Interix and a Euro a full-featured POSIX and Unix environment subsystem for Microsoft's Windows NT-based operating systems, see POSIX Library, Real-Time Operating System, References. External links, The Austin Group. The Open Grouper. The Portable Application Standards Committee -er. POSIX Certification Authority. Ye. The Unix System. The Open Grouper, Base Specifications. POSIX 1 2008. The Open Grouper, What Could Have Been IEEE 1003.1E 2C. Tuxomania.